Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm such a knob. Anyway, last time we played, we defeated all the trainers. There's actually all the trainers now, apart from one, which is in fact our rival. And we're going to give him a little battle of our own, even though I know I haven't healed up, but I'm pretty sure I can still take him down. So yeah, see how that goes, shall we? Alright, Pidgeotto. I've risen up at Firebutt up front is because of the Pidgeotto. And uh, I don't want to risk anything, so I'm going to Ember you because I know Mega Kick probably won't hit because I know what it's like. I could risk it. But now I think about it, Ember is probably easier and I just used Ember anyway by accident, so it's fine. Alright, cool. Done. Alright, now I think he has a War Turtle. I believe. He does. This is probably his toughest Pokemon, and I'm gonna send out a good old Bushmaster for that. Alright, cool. Three times isn't that bad, I can live with that. And you're going to withdraw because you're just an idiot. <laughs> I mean, why would you even bother? I mean, you're shit. What is it with War Turtle's tail? I never actually noticed that. Because I know that Squirtle doesn't really have a tail that much. And nor does Blastoise really. But then War Turtle just got a big fluffy thing at the end. Like, what is that? Someone explain to me what is that. Anyways, level 25 for Bushmaster, which is great. Level 25 is a great level to be because OCD. Anyway. Jump straight into Callum with your half health. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> anyway, I think you could take down this Kadabra with maybe one headbutt, actually. Kinesis, okay. Gonna Kinesis. Actually, lowers my accuracy, which isn't that great. And it's not, because you lowered it once, and boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> and now I know. You lowered it once, man. Once. One level. Literally, you're missing with the disabled, but still one level. And you do this to me. That's exactly what I needed. There you go. I got a crit, but I'm pretty sure it would have taken it out anyway. I'm just, I just, I'm convinced it would have. Right, let's let's go to Firebutt because let's get you up some levels. And I don't think Calm could actually take out the Raticate. It probably could, but not as fast as Firebutt can. And Firebutt's also level 23, so it's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Look at you trying, Raticate. Look at you trying. Get burned. Anyways. Garbear. I completely forget your name is Garbear. <laughs> it's like Garbear, guys. It's Garbear. Garbear, Garbear. Anyway, you can now leave. Because you suck. And that's that. Right, come up here, guys, in the final room. Here is the captain. And uh, he feels... I feel hideous. Up, see sick. Rub, 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 rub. Yeah, because that doesn't look wrong at all. Looks fine. Oh, thank you. I'm feeling much better. Okay, so rubbing your back means that you're suddenly not sick anymore. Anyway, <laughs> he gives you the TM01 cut, which you need to progress in the game, which is where we came in the SSN in the first place to do this. But yeah, click on here, tell him map. Why not have a look, right? Why not have a look? Anyway guys, that'll do for the SSN now. We're, we're done here. We're done. The SSN is done. We've done everything we can here. We, there isn't much more we can actually do. We've accomplished everything there is possible to do here. I'm pretty sure anyway. Anyway, let's go. And then we watch this tiny ass ship, which apparently was big on the inside. Gently sail away in the wind. Nice and slowly. Surfs away calmly through the wind and everything. Okay, we're back! Right. It could this guy goes, and the ship says sail. Anyway, that's it. Um, it doesn't let you go, basically. You can't go down the docks again because he goes, the ship says sail. No, it doesn't let you, so. <laughs> Didn't bother trying with that. And you guys, before I progress further, I recommend catching yourself up to 10 Pokemon, at least in the Pokedex. I have six, I think I recorded before, 
So I'm gonna be right back and quickly I'm gonna be have I'm gonna have caught an extra four Pokemon, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, we are back. <laughs> and we've caught some Pokemon. I also got myself a HM slave, that's right, I called him a HM slave. I will be teaching him all the HMs required in this game that I can, and to be honest. I don't like teaching HMs to my, my team because you can't get rid of them unless you have a move deleter, so for now, I'll be teaching you cut. Cool. Let's stick this Pokemon in the... Alright, I'm keeping my HM save out, but here's my Pokemon I caught, just so I can get myself up to, uh, up to <laughs> 10 Pokemon, so yeah, um, that's that. That's pretty sweet. But yeah, what we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna have to go through Diglett Cave, which is what I said before about not doing, but now we're gonna have to do that so you can grab ourselves Flash for the next part of the game. So yeah, let's do that. It's not that long of a cave, it's, it's long-ish. But it's just one way, you just go up a diagonal, like that little bit at the start there is basically the whole entire cave. So, we're good to go really. So yeah, let's go. Anyways, don't bother talking to those two people, they don't really do a lot for you at all. And you know, you end up back in Route 2, which is quite strange, but yeah, if you go into this house here, then you can talk to this, not this guy, the guy at the top, and you can trade him an Abra for a Mr. Mime, which is actually quite a good addition. I like Mr. Mime, it's quite cool. It doesn't actually evolve, but they're a really good Pokemon and I recommend it. So yeah, if you want to do that, then go ahead. Of course, Abra is also good for um, Alakazam at the end, but yeah, we power off. And what you want to do is talk to this guy here and he will ask you if you've captured 10 species of Pokemon, which is exactly like I said. And he will, if you have, then he will give you the HM for Flash, which you don't need, but it's very, very, very useful for the next part of the game we have to do some stage. Anyways, if you go continue down here, then you can grab these two Pokeballs on here. One here is an Ether, and this one here is a Paral Paralyzed Hill. And there, I don't think there's much. There isn't at all. And now we're going to go back up. Da, 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 da. Anyway, yeah, now we're just gonna um, go on back through the uh, Diglett's Cave. And boom, we're out. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just, we don't actually have to heal, so don't worry about that. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna face the gym. So that'd be pretty cool to do. Let's do that right away. Alright. Oh, we're power off. You know, actually, no, we're not going to do that right away, because I'm going to do this in the next episode. So yeah, thank you guys for watching People on Leaf Green. I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye bye Hey guys, Shufa here, and welcome to Slender Prison. A map, another map made by the Slender, the, 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 the people, Mark Steed, I think it is, and Ray Burgess or something like that, but hey. Warning, sprinting will decrease your maximum speed over time and alert the enemy of your position, the enemy. Use only when absolutely necessary. Right. So if I sprint, then it will decrease my speed over time and alert Slender of where I am. <laughs>